Okay, so I'm making this video. I'm not going to edit it. This is going to be a straight shot. So it might be a little rough, but I think this is very important to let people know that this is a problem. So we have an Amex card, and we had a fraud thing happen. Don't know how the card number got out. I'm thinking it might be T-Mobile again because they've had so many breaches. But I digress. Um, so we filed disputes for all the fraudulent charges, and most of them, they you know, sided, sided with us on them, as they should, because we keep meticulous documentation of all of our stuff, right? So I get a letter in the mail saying that they're not going to be covering, I don't care, you guys, you guys can see my address, it's the same address on our site, so whatever. We've closed your dispute of over $1,000, $1,003.99. We gathered the attached documentation to explain, we needed to explain this charge, and we determined you're responsible for the amount in question. So the card number that got leaked ended in 2001. Here's the receipt that the scammers sent to Amex. Uh, you can see here, there's a Microsoft invoice number. Um, if you guys have Microsoft services, you'll know to put the invoice number in the charge. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my computer here and we're going to look at, we're going to go to Microsoft and I'm going to show you a couple things. I'm going to show you guys what our billing charges are for Microsoft. We use 365 and our charges are like $88 a month. So I'm going to switch over here and I'm not going to have it up. Um, I'm going to click here. I'm logged into my admin panel, admin center. I'm going to click bills and payments. And you can see here, once these load, that these are our recurring charges. So every month we have a 30, a 54, and a $4. So $88 a month. Even if we paid yearly for these services, they wouldn't be $1,000. So the other thing here is, here we go. You can actually go here. I don't know if you guys know this. Hopefully this helps somebody out. You can put in an invoice number and it will tell you if it's a valid invoice or not. So I'm gonna put this bullshit invoice number in here, G02, Four two five four one eight four. So G zero two four two five four one eight four. That's what's on this receipt from the scammers. I'm gonna hit run test, and this is gonna take a sec. So while we're talking, while we're waiting for this to run, I'm gonna tell you guys what I think happened. So if you guys have an American Express and you have a fraud uh, alert, and they give you a new card, which we have a completely new card number now. They will allow recurring charges, because you can assume that those are valid charges, to go back to the cart. So what the scammers did, and they're getting clever, is they made it look like it was Microsoft. Um, because, let's be honest, most businesses probably are using some sort of Microsoft services. So the chances of a recurring charge going through will show and what well, will show and go through. So if you, your card was compromised, you don't have time to update all your stuff. Um, it's kind of a nice feature, but in this case, it's enabling fraud. So we, I've told them to block all, all Microsoft charges from the card. Um, I even sent them this, the screenshot here of all these bills. Um, you guys can see here, there are no bills. This is dated 610. We don't even have a bill for June 10th. It was dated 610. So I'm going to show you this here. This is the bullshit invoice that the scammers sent to Amex. 610. Right here on my screen. So I'm going to actually try calling Microsoft when I have like not a ton of stuff going on because I think they're just going to tell me the same thing that the website just told me is that it's a non-legitimate charge. But if you guys have Amex and your card gets compromised and the scammers pull this shit, they're going to try to make you responsible for these charges, which I think is disgusting. Here, here's the thing. The main reason we use credit cards um, is obviously for the line of credit, but for fraud protection. And Amex, you pay them a $400 yearly fee with the gold, so we pay them a $400 yearly fee. And in order for the credit card companies to make money, they charge processing fees to merchants like us. You guys don't see that, but merchants pay anywhere from 3 to 5%. Amex is on the higher end at like 5% most of the time. So this company that makes billions of dollars off of you know, customers using their cards and merchants like us processing cards, um, they can afford to eat $1,000 because this is not a legitimate charge. Um, I, this is the second take of this recording because the first one had so much profanity in it, felt it was probably not great to post. So this is me holding back. I am a livid. Like, it's, like this is insane. Like in, in times right now where everybody's financially struggling to have a credit card company, 
uh, stick a thousand dollar fraud bill and enable these pieces of shit to steal money from people is insane. Um, if we do not recover these funds, I will be closing our American Express card. There are many different other credit card companies out here that will actually have your back. Um, and the other thing that pisses me off is all this kind of crap wastes my time. I am so limited on time these days because I'm doing so much stuff myself for the business. This is the last thing I want to waste my time on. I have spent almost four hours with the initial dispute and calling them, trying to get them to reopen it. Um, I'm going to call them again today to make sure they didn't close it out again because I called them yesterday. Um, so it's possible this is like a delayed thing. But the thing is, they sided with the scammers again. So, like, initially. I, I don't understand how they can't see that this is a disguised charge. It's not a real charge. And, and just in case, it's like, oh, well, did our new card get compromised? Look right here. 2001, it ends in. That was the card number that was compromised. Our new one is completely different. So if you guys have Amex and you get your card number gets stolen because some irresponsible company leaked the information, um, fight it. Like the, if you guys don't fight these charges, the scammers win and the fraudsters win. And we don't want that. We want them to starve. They are pieces of shit. They are the lowest scum on this earth. Um, one of the lowest. There's lower people than the, the credit card scammers, but they're they're pretty far down there. Um, so, anyways, I'm gonna post this video and I'm gonna go try to get some other work done. So, talk to you later, guys. I hope you guys enjoy your day off. If you guys have the day off, I don't get days off because I'm a business owner. So, see you guys later.